We're going to quickly look at a couple functions uh, in Salesforce, uh, like minute, hour, and second. Uh, so what these are meant to do are uh, look at date time values or time values in the sense of what second is it, what minute is it, and what hour is it. So uh, we can use this in a lot of different points uh, in business. So, you know, when are the most calls coming in? You can use that from a service or sales capacity. Uh, you know, when are my emails getting opened? When are, you know, any event, if you want to break that down um, by the minute, hour, or second, uh, you can, uh, and you can draw some points to that, you know, are people ordering in the beginning of the day versus at the end of the day? Um, it's it's going to help you look at that, uh, you know, time, date, time data a little bit differently. So if we open this up, very straightforward, you can see here, I've just got my minute function all the way on the outside. Uh, and if I look at just quickly, just to show you all the hour, minute, it's all the same, right? In terms of minute of the day. And then second. Same thing, returns the second of the day. Um, and then my formula here, I'm taking a date time field. I'm extracting the time value of that. And then I want to see the minute uh, of when something happened. So if I hit uh, really quick, I want to go, I'll save this. Uh, and show that this is a number type of field that I'm returning. There there you go, formula return type. So if I had this to date time and I tried to hit save, you could see that would error out because it's not the right field type. Uh, if I put this to just time, this one's a little awkward. Try to save, still errors out. Because the formula with the former returning is a number. Uh, so that's why I have this over here to number. Now, if I just refresh this field real quick, or this uh, record, you can see here I have my date function field. I'm returning six uh, decimals, uh, a little overkill there. But essentially, I just wanted to show this is my create date. I don't know what time zone this is in. I don't think that's right. Uh, but 5.51 a.m., uh, so my date function for the minute is returning 51. So I can see, okay, they're typically, you know, I can I could say that, you know, this happened at the tail end of X hour. Um, so not like a, a great um, use case there, but just showing how that function works.